Welcome to part three. Let's start exploring the second floor for real now. Damn. I was hoping that, that wouldn't just injure me. Anyway, I want to do the northeast section now. As you can see, there's the Hall of Records in that area, which is important because that'll tell us which door our key unlocks in the vault. And sadly, Garrett can't just open every last one of them. I mean, if he could, he would basically just retire after that point. Instead of just gathering what little's just lying around. Right, that's another touch plate. I'm going to show these off in the bonus video. But for now, I'm just gonna nail these two guys. Crap. That looked like it was perfectly aimed. How did I not take this damn thing out? I should be on this side. Oh! Wrong switch. There we go. Man, there's like a ton of these guys. Jeez, it's like all of the ones on the second floor I have to worry about right there. I suppose that'll make wandering around a bit easier then. Uh, that is a particularly annoying watcher right there. So I think I'll just do this the easy way. Looks like, sounds like I freaked out another one of the servant children downstairs. Now to find some useful information. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's much we can just look at around here. As a matter of fact, there's just this one scroll. Aha! Looks like the mechanists own both box numbers 10 and 11. So it's got to be one of those two. Oh, there's a guard over there. Looks like he isn't actually freaking out about any of those disabled children. Well, I guess that makes this part easier, then. So... Oh. Looks like he was about to freak out. Or something. Lucky I hit him just in time. Uh, here's something interesting. Apparently... Some of these copper pieces... All those little coins I've been picking up... Seems they're actually worth something to somebody. Which is, uh, why Garrett's been gathering them, I suppose. I wonder why I'm not showing up here. Oh, well. Uh. Oh, hey there. Thanks for standing still. Uh oh. Seems like there's a couple of watchers down here. 
Let's see, what room is that? Looks like it's another staircase. Well, I don't need to go in there. There's no loot in there. As I was saying earlier, though, some of those copper pieces are apparently considered lucky coins. And so they are worth a lot more than they look. I mean, they're copper pieces, but they're worth one gold each. Two at once. I suppose I could just do this. Highly efficient. Doesn't sound like anyone's twig to that. Which is good, because this room is just full of tile. Ah! Damn lighting. East, so I must be here. Alright, I don't need to go down that hallway. I've already been to the other side. So let's just grab this vase thing. And keep going. So this room is especially special, because over here we have a door, a door that needs to be picked, that leads outside. This is one of the ways in. But what makes it particularly special is that this room also has a way downstairs, through the ventilation. I won't be taking it for now, though. Night shift again, am I? You piss off the master banker or what? Nah, I'd rather the night watch. It's quiet, and I don't have to bow and scrape to the customers. Let me carry your heavy, heavy gold for you, matey fat bottom. <laughs> Here, let me take some of that nasty, heavy stuff off your hands, for <laughs> this week. Yeah. And see the bosses aren't around to listen to us talking at night, either. Uh, how about we try one of these mines on this guy yeah. here? And see the bosses aren't to to <laughs> yep. One well-aimed mine can deal with a security child. This one's completely destroyed. Yeah, I know. It's awesome, isn't it? Sounds like a servant's freaking out there. Well, if he's going to stand still. Whoops. I can just deal with that. Right, that makes this room a whole lot safer. Sounds like those guards are just sort of wandering about, though. Ultimately, you've got to be careful with your mines. Well, this just leads back here. in there. And, oh, I see. There's another door. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the mines. Gotta make sure no human runs over one. Uh-oh. Looks like there's some correspondence on that desk over th oops. There's some books over on that desk over there. So as soon as I can get around the watcher, I'll just have a look at that. Uh, 
This is just that one staircase. Another child. How to get on the third floor? Doesn't matter. Let's take a quick read. Ah, shit. Lucky for me, that one turret is only an arrow turret and not a cannonball turret because otherwise I'd probably be dead. As it is, I had to use up my last fire arrow just to make it stop shooting. Alright, did I read these? Yeah, I... Yeah, I read these already. So evidently there's some politicking going on. The current chief banker is about to die. And there are three people who want the job. One's his nephew. And thanks to nepotism, the other two guys think that he's basically going to get it. So they're going to work together in order to get around that. When did you show up? Because I've been past here before. Right, so just turn around so I can bonk you. Anytime you're ready. Uh. Come on. Just get you moving over this way. Hold on, hear you tapper. Hey, hey, assassin! Murder! Man, these unconscious guys can be noisy. Oh. Sounds like I freaked out a first floor guard. If I can get him over here. That would be pretty good. But it doesn't sound like he's coming this way. Let's just hit the light switch. Have a look in here. And nobody over this way. Oh well. This one was written by the nephew, who shows off both his incompetence and his self-assuredness that he is going to win the head bankership. Both of which are essentially why the other two bankers are working together. Yeah, this is the other side. crazy. Looks like he might be on his way up. Better make myself scarce. But it'll take him a while to get up here. I wonder which way he's going to come up. way up is over by the dome there. Well, anyway, if he's going to take his time, I might as well do a little more exploring. And a few arrows and oh, plenty more mines. Like you saw earlier, those are actually pretty useful against the 
big guys. Right, that's the lobby. You can see all of the watchers I turned off of that one switch upstairs. Come back here. Ah, sounds like he's upstairs now. May have brought some friends with him too. Just in case. Yeah, checking my last known location there. Come out <coughs> and face oh. me, villain. I guess I couldn't find anything though. Go figure, right? Oh. Down you go. There. That should help make the first floor a little safer. You are so dead, pal. Uh, whoops, guess he saw me. Well, I could wait for him or I could just keep going. See you for part four.